<laughs> Let's talk about your show, Straight Up Steve Austin. You're back for season two. And I saw on Instagram that you're posting videos of your trailer. You got a dope setup with your margarita station. What did you have to do to get USA to give you all these things? And how do I do that? They follow me on Instagram and they know of my love for margaritas. And I'm the Walter White of margarita making. And the, the, here's the thing about it. it. It's two days at a time to film each episode. I never have time to sit around and drink it all. So it's almost like a big tease. I want to show a clip from your show, Straight Up Steve Austin. Let's check it out. See, I never joined a gang, Steve. I never was involved in any particular gang. I'm friends with different people from gangs. Well, was there any temptation to join just because of peer pressure or it was a cool thing to do? Or you saw the danger? Yeah, I saw the danger. And also, I hung out with these cats from the block. It's called the 40s. Oh, you whipping this <laughs> The 40s were the hustlers. The 40s were the drug dealers. The 40s were the, the players. OK, define hustlers and players for me. If we went wrestling, you you would be a gangster. Ric Flair would be a player. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like so much fun. I love it so, so much. Man, I had a blast hanging out with Ice-T, because, you know, I've been following him from way back when he, he's one of the uh, you know, OGs of gangster rap. I'm just gonna shoot my shot. If you need guest ideas for Straight Up Steve Austin, I, I feel like I would have time. You just planted a seed. I'm, I'm with you. Okay, I love it. I wanna, before we go, try something with you called Hot Take Debate. All right, Stone Cold, I would like to debate with you the worst cocktail. So you have a few seconds to tell me what you think the worst cocktail is and why. Well, I think the worst cocktail would be one that they call Sex on the Beach. And when you think about sex on the beach, all I'm thinking about is sand and salt water, starfish, you know, stuff like that, climbing up your ass. And if you've ever tasted one, there's too much sugar in it. It's going to give you diabetes. It might give you a buzz, but I in no way, shape, or form endorse the actual act or the drink. And that's the bottom line. I don't even think I can compete with that, to be honest, because I completely agree. I'm going to give you that one, Stone Cold. I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> the last one I got for you in our hot take debate is best WWE walkout. I'll never forget being in the ring when I was working against The Undertaker. And I had all these things that I was going to do to him, how this match was going to go. And all of a sudden, man, they hit, they dimmed down the lights. Everybody threw up lighters. They smoked up the arena. And here comes The Undertaker walking to the ring. And I completely forgot every single thing I wanted to do with The Undertaker. So instead of blowing smoke up my own ass, I'm going with the coolest walkout was The Undertaker. Would you beg to differ with that? My answer was also The Undertaker. And I'll tell you why. Sometimes when I'm hosting things or doing stuff, that people say, hey, we need you to take up more time, five minutes. I could imagine The Undertaker's entrance is a dream from a production standpoint. Because if you need 10 more minutes of content, he will take the 10 minutes to walk to the ring. So I'm gonna completely go with The Undertaker. Steve Austin, thank you so much for being on my show. I can't wait to be on your show. Now I've said it on TV, so I guess it has to happen. Make sure you check out Straight Up Steve Austin on USA Mondays at 11 p.m. You are my hero, truly, my hero. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having me, and I hope you enjoy season two. This is the best day of my life. All right, someone take a picture of me and Steve Austin. You guys, you guys, you interviewed Steve Austin. Y'all hear it? Yeah, there's only one thing left to do. There's only one thing left to do. What did that work? And that's the bottom line. Oh, she would be so mad if I wasted this, actually. You know what? Let me just. I'm so sorry, Steve Austin. You have a straw?